Hi guys, Shiloh Colt here, back with another review, as promised, for my library haul. This was Cressley Cole's Dark Sky. I love this series, but I got so, so, so behind. So now I'm rushing to catch up and loving every minute of it. Dark Sky was one of my favorites. I'm going to start with reading the blurb so you can just feel the angst. Eternal Obsession. As a boy, Thronos, Prince of Sky Hall, loved Lanthi, a mischievous sorcery girl who made him question everything about his Rankiner clan. Hope I didn't murder that. But when the two got caught in the middle of their family's war, tragedy struck, leaving Thronos and Lanthi bitter enemies. Though centuries have passed, nothing can cool his seething need for the beautiful enchantress who scarred his body and left an even deeper impression on his soul. Endless shurning. Lanthi, a once formidable sorcerer struggling to reclaim her gifts, searches for love and acceptance with all the wrong immortal suitors. Yet she's never forgotten Thronos, the magnificent silver-eyed boy who protected her until she was ripped from the shelter of his arms. One harrowing night changed everything between them. Now he's a notorious warlord with a bloody vendetta against Lanthi, hunting her relentless relentlessly. Blech. Can the heat of desire burn brighter than vengeance? With their families locked in conflict and battles raging all around them, will Thronos and Lanthi succumb to the brutal chaos that threatens everything they cherish? Or will the fragile bond they formed so long ago spark a passion strong enough to withstand even their darkest doubts? That blurb explains why I love this so much. Not only am I a sucker for romances where you just didn't connect the first time or something happened, whether it be catastrophic, you made her be small, maybe they moved away. I love them. And it was also a hate to love, which is always so entertaining. Watching someone go from despising one person to being completely in love with them and having their eyes open is just amazing. Also, I mean, Cressley Cole is so brilliant. I mean, I, I want to live in her mind because the way she pieces everything together is incredible. The story she weaves, the mythology, it's amazing. It's paranormal, but I almost want to say it borders on fantasy, I guess because of the mythology and the fact that it's more than your werewolves, your vampires, your witches. We're talking about sorcery. We're talking about demons. We're talking about Valkyrie. So it's paranormal with like that fantasy in it and epic romances because you're dealing with a mortal creature. So, I mean, we're talking thousands of years that spans between them. I mean, talk about time to brew some emotions. I love this book. I can't say enough about it. I love Lanthe. They really touched on slut shaming in this, um, which was brilliant because a lot of times it's just like, being a virgin and being virginal is just held up to such a high esteem and it's always a double standard because the man can do whatever he wants and that's fine. Well, the amusing thing about this was actually in this book, Thronos is a virgin because he cannot have relations with anyone other than his mate, which Lanthe happens to be. So then, I mean, imagine the angst if your mate's out there doing whatever she wants to do and you're stuck. Yes, I'm telling you guys, th there was so many potent emotions in this. It, it was brilliant. I couldn't put it down. I think it was up till three in the morning reading this and then I had to get up and get my kids to school when I was looking crazy, putting on the concealer so I didn't look like a monster. It happened and it was totally worth it. Um, I'm giving this a freaking five out of five stars because I enjoyed everything about it. The one thing I do have to say about this was that at the end, I just wanted more. I was not ready to say goodbye. Look at this book. It's not a short book. So maybe that says everything that I have not said. Uh, if you read this book, what do you think? Um, there's so many different stories that go on in this universe. I mean, this is the 15th book. Was this one of your favorites or was this one of the ones that was a miss for you? Let me know below. If you haven't read it, I definitely highly suggest it. If you haven't read Cressley Cole, you have got to pick up one of her books. I think you will love it just as much as I do. If you're into paranormal and mythology, if, you, if you're looking for a different kind of mythology because you feel like you've seen it all before, I mean, not everybody's running around writing about Norse gods. You know what I'm saying? Pick it up. I think you'll like it. If you have any suggestions of books based on this one because I adored it, let me know again. 
Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.